Welcome to Module 1 of the Inclusion of Special Populations Regulation, 703-KAR-5-070. Module 1 will focus on inclusion specifically, as well as who is included and who is not included. We will also look at a modification, how they will, we also look at the difference between an accommodation and a modification, how they differ when it comes to the state assessments, the last thing module one will emphasize is the three options when it comes to state assessments. Note, the page number on this slide represents the location the information is found in the regulation document itself. The first thing I want to direct your attention to on slide three is the blue arrow at the top of the page. The blue arrow reflects the location this information is found in the actual regulation document. Even though this training provides an in-depth look at all parts of the inclusion of special populations regulation, it does not give every detail like the actual regulation. If you need to know more, go to the regulation and look for the page number shared throughout the training. There are six sections covered in this regulation. Every section represents a different student group and the services they are eligible to receive under specific conditions. The sections represented include students with IEPs, students who speak English as a second language, they may have a specific access to a program service plan, and some may also require an IEP as well, students who have a 504 plan or a medical emergency occurs and an accommodation is necessary, students who are in an alternative or state agency setting, students who receive instruction in home hospital settings, and students who participate in the Kentucky Alternate Assessment. Most all students are covered in this regulation in some way. However, there are some groups of students that this regulation does not represent. Those are students who may age out at 21 years of age or older, students who are considered part-time students and may be enrolled in a Kentucky public school six hours or less per day, the last group would be students who are enrolled in a general education program or GED that is not part of a Kentucky public school system. As noted earlier, most students are represented throughout. Slide five shows that those shows those that would not take part. Accommodations provide support but do not reduce learning expectations. Accommodations are individualized and specifically designed to aid learning and faded when skills are demonstrated in a progressive way over time. Modifications provide support during instruction in a way that assists students in the process of learning the content. To learn it during instruction may require one to provide that content in a different way. The ability to modify that curriculum will be acceptable while a student is being taught. However, it would not be an acceptable practice to change content during a state assessment. A student's IEP team or Admissions and Release Committee or ARC must meet annually to determine a student's least restrictive environment and learning plans. The team will take into consideration through data-driven results, observations, formative and summative assessments, as well as other determining factors, the plans for adding or removing accommodations. There are three options for inclusion in a state assessment. They are with no accommodations, which means an accommodation is not needed or is not eligible at the time of testing. Those with accommodations mean that the ARC or IEP team have met and developed the annual plan to include those accommodation types permitted for the student come test time. The last option is that the student even with access to the necessary accommodations, still is unable to access the general curriculum in a manner equivalent to their peers. The ARC or IEP team would then complete the participation guidelines for the Kentucky Alternate Assessment and assess the student in that way on a year to year basis. This concludes module one inclusion of the inclusion of the special populations regulation 703 KAR 5 colon 070. If you have specific questions about the inclusion of special populations training module one or any module related to this training, please feel free to contact KDE DAC information at dacinfo at education.ky.gov or call 502 564 
4394. Thank you for your time and participation.